and welcome to Brutally Honest Podcast. I'm your host, Carly Hustle. I have cancer. Cancer Carly, check it in. If I'm going to use social media, I'm going to tell the truth. Thank God for my partner and fiance, my caregiver. Those on them. And me and my robot tits are on our way. Bald spots here. Hot flashes. Is this over yet? I'm tired of getting my ass kicked by this shit. How does it get realer than this? But I'm not going to wear a diaper. I shit my pants and I made a podcast about it. Inspirational! My pure existence sometimes just feels like I'm just bucking against everything. I was like, do I have cancer? She's like, yes. Am I going to lose my breast? She said, yes. She said, this is going to be the shittiest year of your life. Get ready. I just felt like I was disappearing and then I got pregnant and then I turned 40 and all of these things were happening at one time. My world was like getting smaller and smaller and harder and harder. I was always in this very individualistic place where I was like, "Uh, everything's so urgent, I'm freaking out, but it was all the wrong things that were urgent. I've sacrificed so much, like I've lost sleep and time with my family and time with my friends and time with my kids and I've lost this, that and the third and blah, 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 all for the success and you know, I just keep grinding harder and I'm like, wow. This is success. (laughs) That sounds miserable as fuck. It sucks that cancer is a thing that had to turn that around for me, but if my life is different because of it, then cool. I have to find a silver lining because otherwise it's just you have cancer and it's fucking whack. I don't want to look back on this and be traumatized. I want to look at it as an experience that I had to go through to get to whatever my next superpower is going to be. We're disconnected from each other because we're so focused on ourselves because the algorithm rewards individualism. But individualism is killing us. You can't survive alone. People want to connect with other people. That's who we are innately as human beings. And we continue to get farther and farther away from that every time we pick up our phone. It's where we think that we're connecting with other people because we double tap or we leave a comment with a heart eye emoji or something. I did a fake smile or a real smile. (laughs) People need each other. We need each other very, very bad. We need to help each other. We need to look out for each other. We need to prioritize each other. And we need to step back and look at how we're living our lives and find ways to put the human touch back into things. Uh